of Northern Beaches PA Hire on a sunny Sydney Sunday afternoon. Um, not a very interesting one this week unless you're a QSC K Series owner. Um, a young gentleman turned up the other day with a, uh, a brand new K10 and um, just made me think, oh yeah, firmware. I said, what, what uh, firmware up there? is it on yours? And it was one point, was it uh, one point two point zero? I think that's what it shipped with. It was, uh, he said it was brand new, it's five weeks old. Um, so it just prompted me to have a look at the QSC firmware updates um, because they're very important on the QSC K-Series products if you're a K-Series product person. And uh, immediately uh, I went, oh, okay, better um, better jump onto this. So if you've got a K8.2 or a K10.2, download the um, firmware updating software from QSC. It's a bit of a rigmarole. You've got to sign in. You've got to, you know, I'm going to verify your email address then you can download the uh, installer. Um, works on Mac or PC. I think it's a 2.13, the uh, software updater. But interesting reading. Um, if you've got a K8.2 K or a 10.2, it says um, it, uh, it's just uh, the so firmware update is to 1.3.3 from 1.10 or 1.20. And it says firmware benefit from protection improvements. So it's obviously protecting um, limited software, uh, power, power, power supplies, etc. on the 8s and the 10s. Now, the 12s, this is what made me jump up in the air because I've got a few 12s. Um, PM4 false trigger. So if you're running the older 1.20 on your K12s, it's vital to update to the new 1.41 firmware update. Sorry about the... Uh, the lingo, I have had a beer. So, if you don't, it says PM4 false trigger. Some K12.2 loudspeakers might falsely trigger protection mode PM4, even when such protection is not necessary, forcing to, to power cycle and unmute the loudspeaker. This firmware prevents false triggers. Okay, that sounds okay. You, can, you know, whatever a false trigger is, I think that's what happens in Ukraine or something, isn't it, with the Russians? Um, but the worst one is the PM4 perpetual state. This one scared me. Loudspeakers might enter a state of perpetual protection mode, PM4, in which an error message would appear on the rear screen and a loudspeaker would mute. This mode would persist after power cycling the unit, therefore making the speaker unusable in any capacity. Um, the firmware update to 1.41 eliminates this. Well, if you, if you haven't seen this or you're not aware of this and you've got, let's say, a couple of K12.2s, um, not cheap speakers, if you get the perpetual state protection mode, um, it's got to go back to QSC or, you know, you've got to take it back to your store. And I know firsthand right now, because I've got a couple of warranty things going back in, uh, there's a massive wait to get to, to get warranty fixed at the moment. So if you've got the K10s and the K8s, yep, go to uh, update it to... 13.3, but um, that's not you know it's not quite as uh, imperative as the K12.2s because I remember a couple of years ago when the first updates came out on the firmware, I had a few people contacting me going, my power supply is dead, my my my, my K12 especially was just cooked, um, and that was the 240 volt issue which which um, that uh, version 1.20 addressed, but now they're saying. If you've got, if you don't update to 1.41, you can get this perpetual state where your speaker's useless. Now, I don't. If that happens, I'm pretty sure QSC will honour any warranty. But if it's out of warranty, you know, because it's getting to that stage now, where they could be out of warranty a few years old. You're going to end up with a bit of a problem on your hands. So the, all I'm saying in this video, if you've got a, a K series speaker, go into settings. You basically just scroll down to settings on your on your rotary knob, and then you can check your, your firmware. If it's 1.2. Um, you need to go to uh, 1.33 on the 10s and 8s, and if it's 1.2 on your 12, you need to go to 1.41. Underneath the rotary switch, there's a micro USB. You download the software, you put it onto your machine, um, put, have your speaker next to you, not, not powered up, uh, pull the put rotary knob off, connect your micro USB to your machine with the updated software open, and then turn it on. It, then you'll see it should pick up serial number it should give you your, your firmware um, and then you can go through the process there's four stages to it. it takes a little while you cannot touch the speaker or turn it off while it's doing it I did six or probably eight and did the young man's the other day very successfully um, and that's you know 
that's what's put me off QSC recently. Is I mean, I just slipped my mind to have a look at the firmware. Um, you know, you know, you know, don't really think about how firmware on a speaker, you know, especially if you've got a few of them. So that all this video is about is if you're a QSC K series uh, owner, check your software, check your firmware. Um, if you've got any questions, there's videos online from QSC on how to do it. I'm not going. I've already done a demo of how to do it on, on the original update, so you can watch that on my channel. But you know, you don't want your QSC K12s going into perpetual protection mode. The word perpetual protection mode sounds scary, especially if you're a gig or you're a gigging musician or a DJ or something. That's, you know, it's a lot of money to um, have something that could potentially stop working halfway through the night and then you're left with something that's got to go somewhere to get repaired and it's going to take you a while. That means you've got to find something else to use. So this is just a video to say this came out on the 4th of the 4th. Uh, 22 so um, you're very recent uh, so I don't think many people have seen it um, you know what is it now it's 17th of the 4th so it's only been out for two weeks this this update so I doubt many people have done it so if you own a QSC K-series speaker jump in have a look at your, look at the documentation first follow the stages critically to get it right you don't want to be bricking the module you don't want to be messing about don't do it with your kids or your dogs are in the room um you know, I sat very quietly and just did it, did it very methodically to get them all right because um, you don't want to be, you know, causing trouble and uh, breaking your module. So this is just a very simple video. It's all the Northern Beaches PA hire. Uh, if you're on the Northern Beaches, uh, I'm happy to update the firmware for free. I'm a dealer for QSC and I'm sure they'd rather have someone, um, but, you know, it's got a, it's a point of contact with, with QSC rather than a customer. Um, so if you want, if you've got a QSC K12 um, or 10, you want to bring it to me on the Northern Beach of Sydney, happy to do it for free. Um, like to meet you and like you know show you the ins and outs of how to do it, um, and then inform other people. If you've got friends with QSC K.2s, please let them know um, because the less uh, you know, it's, it's going to water the brand down if there's lots of warranty problems. You know, uh, it's a bit like the. I think JBL had a massive, you know, the quality control went down on the Eons and stuff. They were getting 30% returns on, you know, a lot of dealers were like, oh, we don't want to touch those speakers anymore. It'd be horrible if QSC went the same way because they're such a good product. But they are quite, you know, they, they are, you know, in need of, you've got to constantly keep an eye on these things now, which, I, which I'll try and do. Luckily, it's been out for two weeks. I did mine the first seven days. I just came in from the pub, had a beer with the wife. Thought, oh Christ, I better do that video just to give people a heads up. So head to QSC, have a look at the info. If it's right for you, you've got the right speakers, make sure you do it correctly. Or give us a shout at Northern Beaches PA Hire, um, Northern Beaches PA at gmail.com, or go to the website. And I'm more than happy to talk you through it or give you a hand. That's enough today. All the best. Over and out, Northern Beaches PA.